In this tutorial, we cover how we measure the risk for trading strategies. We'll go through what we consider risk, how we track it, how to find out what the risk is for strategies in the leaderboard, and what's next. So, what is risk? First, very conceptual, important point. Risk describes what could happen in the future. So, it is a forward-looking measure. Unlike drawdown, which describes what did happen in the past. Now, of course, it's true that what did happen in the past can inform the future, but ultimately what you want to know, an investor wants to know, is what could happen to his money going forward. So at Darwinx, we give much more weight to the measure of risk than we do to drawdown. So how do we track risk? Well, first... Let's look at the definition. We define risk in terms of trading strategies as to what could happen to your money in the future with two potential extremes. It could be that you either lose or you win. And of course, risk is always related to a target horizon. So for instance, let's say we took a day. So how, come, how much could we make or lose in one day? Well, a useful approximation to that is what you can see at Darwin X in for all strategies going to the interface checking out the basic charts and looking at risk so what do we see in here well we see for each of the trading days where this strategy has been active we see the return plotted on a percentage of equity basis so for instance in this case this strategy has had 162 days with a return between 0 and 0 0.45 and so on and so forth both for positive and negative returns. Let's go back into the presentation. Then, of course, once we've done it for a day, we could say, well, hmm, how about in a week? So here we've um, rotated the view and we have the horizon of one day. Then we could also do the same thing for a week, or we could even project the different returns to until we reach the full horizon of one month. As you see, the uncertainty as we go further in time gets bigger, which is why we have a, a bigger uncertainty in, a, in, the, in the one month. At DarwinX, this is done by taking both uh, historical data and then simulating thousands of uh, possible returns, matching the risk of the strategy and the style of the strategy. So it's done through what people call Monte Carlo. Which takes us to the measure of risk at, at DarwinX, which is value at risk, defined as the percentage of loss in the worst month every 20. In other words, by looking at the distribution, we take the tail, the worst tail, look at the worst 5% probability, and for instance, a strategy having a VAR of 15%, We'll lose 15% we'll or more in a month, 5% of the time, which is why we say worst month in 20. The flip side of that is the obviously that the strategy will make more than minus 15%, 95% of the time, or 19 out of 20 months. So we look at the tail risk and the 5% probability in one month. That's how value at risk at Darwin X is defined. So what drives the risk or the value at risk and the changes to the value of risk in a strategy? It is related positively to the frequency of trades. The more trades you do, all other things being equal, the higher your risk. The higher the leverage and the duration of your individual trades, all other things equal, will increase the value at risk. And also market conditions. So the higher the market volatility and the higher the correlation between the assets that you usually trade, the higher the risk. Those are the three core inputs. So what do higher values at risk actually mean? Well, they basically mean less certainty in outcomes. An investor who were to invest in a high value at risk strategies such as this one could experience larger deviations as we see here at the tail than an investor with a lower bar who would be much more centered around not making or losing much which is why we use this to compare so how do you compare uh, how do you track the evolution of risk at darwinix again we can go into the interface this is uh, an extract from the and this you would see in the darwinia charts risk management and here you can see the evolution of value at risk over time for this particular strategy. 
What we're looking for here is that the fluctuations are ideally as small as possible. For instance, this was a bad fluctuation. And we always, we always track the minimum risk in the previous period, the maximum risk in the previous period, and the current risk as extrapolated for that particular trading day. Now, you'll also see that we have a risk master scale in the leaderboard, as you can see here, which has different colors. Uh, this is just to explain that the, this window shows the fluctuation of value at risk for the particular strategy in the recent period, in this case the last year, where here is the, is the minimum for the period and here is the maximum. So in other words, this is basically looking at transposing what, what we see, the minimum and maximum observations that we see in the previous chart. And that's essentially what you can see in the leaderboard. So uh, whenever you see that someone has had uh, risk of 9.4 uh, 9 maximum var. That means that in the last period, that was the maximum, and 2.2 uh, was the minimum, and the, the arrow is pointing at the last trading day for the particular strategy. So that's pretty much it. If you're wondering what your value at risk is, you can find it out at darwinx.com and it's 100% for free. Uh, a lot of people find it very insightful to understand exactly how much of the money they're risking. And if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, you can always reach out to me. This is Juan at darwinx.com. I'm one of the founders. And my Skype is Juan Colombolea. Thank you so much for your time.